Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. <coughs> so here we are once again in this little damp cavern leaking water under Elwyn's hood, thankfully, that he's wearing now. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's where we left off a little bit of a tricky situation. But we have uh, overcome that tricky situation and we now find ourselves back here again. But I need to go back. Yes, I do, because uh, last time I left off, uh, last time I left off, no. Kairos, I need your titans, I need your... Uh, your gold. I don't know why you have gold in your dead body, but uh, you do. Yes, because, uh, yes, I found myself overrun with Falmer last time we did this. And one of the main reasons why I found myself overrun with uh, by Falmer was because I actually meandered down here mistakenly as I was running about flapping. Uh, so yes, we're going to go back down here now and see if we can uh, clear out the farmer from here and see if there's actually anything worth looting in this here cavern. So before we do that, it's the usual uh, summoning of our friend Ignis. It's the usual summoning of our stone flesh. And we'll put some fireballs on as well, because that's what we do. And then we'll meander in and find out what's going down here. Ah, a chest. Right. I wonder if this is the only reason to come here, is for a chest. Because if it is, I might actually just unlock the chest and run. <laughs> Save myself! Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh! It's one of those Falmouth... isn't good. Lydia is on her hands and knees already. Get up! Don't let it touch you! He's a dangerous one! The skulker is the dangerous one! Oops, a daisy. Okay. So we have uh, one dead farmer and one with a bow and arrow. It's the guy with a bow and arrow that worries me. He is a dangerous one. Where's Fireball? Give me the balls of fire! Where is he? Where is he? Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! This is not good! This isn't good. <laughs> I've gone too close. Ah, Elwyn, what are you doing? Run! 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 Draw him out! Come out, you fool! Come! Come to me! I have goodies, I have presents, I have loots and plunders. Come! Come, you fool! I don't want to send a firebolt too far down there, because the Berlina is too close. Berlina, come back! Come out! Oh, ah, she took an arrow to the knee! Okay, before I go any further, I need to make sure I have full health because them arrows do deadly damage. So we'll heal. At a very slow pace. We shall summon forth our stone flesh. And our fire ball. We shall look to do some more damage. Where is he? Uh oh. Gotcha. Now. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, no. We need more. We need firebolt. No! Yes! Suck on that! Found a punk! <gasps> Berlina, are you okay? I see you've managed to pull the arrow out of your knee. It looked a very dangerous, uh, dangerous situation that we found ourselves in. A rather stressful one at that as well. Large decorative Dweamer strut. 
anything uh, remotely useful. Okay, so what was in this chest that was so heavily guarded by these imbeciles? Come, uh, come on, drag your sorry carcass away. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take these farmer arrows until I ascertain how much they actually bring at a at a, uh, at a shop. Look, he's like he was. He looks like he died clawing his way to the chest. I will get to the chest. Oh, God. And just as he gets his fingertips to it, he probably got shot in the back by one of those arrows. And all for ten arrows, a proxy bit of gold, and a stamina potion, which is not the most useful of potions for Elwyn. So really, was it all worth all that strenuous effort to get here? Probably not, I have to say. Okay, well, at least we have bragging rights over these two idiots. Come on, Berlina. Let's leave these two in their uh, icy grave. God, if ever I retire as a tutor in the college, I shall have to write some memoirs. I'm sure the students will love to hear of my escapades in such places. Okay, so there's nothing up here, it's just a waterfall, and we'll try and uh, meander down the side here, and uh, I believe I did spend some time clearing out these chests and stuff, and all these cowrous eggs that are scattered about the place. Uh, so we did clean those out, did we loot this guy? Yep, we looted him. So I'm going to save it, now that we've done that little bit. And we're going to press on deeper into the cave, where there's probably going to be more of those Falmer gloom lurkers and skulkers and the whole host of pl plethora of nastiness. I really don't want to see them. Yeah, I think Ignis is becoming a little bit null and void here. These enemies are proving to be quite the handful. I think it's about time that we go back to the college, if we ever get there in one piece. It's now 10 o'clock at night. Um, I think we're going to have to break forth the Frost Atronarch. Oh, it's an exit. Well, we don't want to go out just yet. <laughs> So that's an exit to Skyrim, so I will actually go out that way. I'm kind of intrigued as to where it leads me, but before I do, there's another sort of chamber here to explore. So we'll go back through and see where it, where it leads, basically. Apart from the Falmer, of course, this cave is rather picturesque. If not a bit damp. <laughs> We all know how Elwyn doesn't really like getting wet, but uh, when there's loot and plunder to be had, you don't really have much of a choice sometimes. As long as you're not drenched. A little bit damp, we can live with. Okay, okay, let's find our way back through. And is it up here? Yeah, up and to the left. Yes, that's the way down here. Once again, let's summon Ignis out. I know there's some bad guys down here. I can sense them with my nose, because they stink! And I might actually... Fireball is good, but it's not mana efficient at the moment. I'll start using it probably slightly more frequently when it becomes uh, a bit more mana efficient. There we go. I knew there was somebody here. See ya. Uh oh. Guys! Berlina, do you want to summon uh, Slosia? Did I freeze Berlina? That was a bad choice! 
Sorry, Burita. <laughs> Are you okay? I didn't mean to freeze you in place. You just happened to be in the way. Oh, dear. It's been nothing but one blunder after another in this hellhole, hasn't it? God, I bet you'll be back. To, glad to get back to the uh, the warm the uh, of the college. Sit sit in your dormitory with a nice book. So probably less stressful than uh, delving into dungeons, eh? What's that noise? Dripping water, or the snapping of cowrous pincers. I think we've reached the end of the line here. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, suits me just fine. I've seen enough of this place. Yeah. Elven dagger, some gold and a couple of lockpicks. Hardly the most lucrative of uh, forays, but uh, as I like to say, it's better than nothing. One last check of the map to ensure that we have explored pretty much everything. I believe we have, so we're going to go back out this way and try to see where this exit takes us. Probably into the mouth of a waiting dragon, though, in our luck. <laughs> okay, Stillborn Cave, it's been, uh, well, I would like to say it's been a pleasure, but it really hasn't been a pleasure in the slightest bit. And, uh, yeah, there's a book here which I forgot to take on my replay through of this section of the, uh, of the cave. Ooh. Playing football with your shield, just to rub the salt in the wounds there, I think. Yes. Okay, let's meander our way down. <laughs> down the stream. Hugging the left walls to try and ensure that we do not get unnecessarily wet. And then out to Skyrim. Let's see where it takes us. Jurgen Winkoller. Right, so I better get myself uh, a couple of things out here. Uh, where are we? Oh my god. Maybe I should look to where we are before I start uh, putting my feet up, eh? We seem to be in the middle of nowhere. Let's get our map ready. World map. Ah, we're only there. Right, remove custom destination. Because uh, we don't need it there anymore. And uh, it's t time to head back to the uh, the college for the night. And then tomorrow we shall ascertain what we are going to do next. I think it's going to be one of two things, really. It's either going to be the Shrine of Azura, or it's going to be Fort Kastav. And no doubt Berlina was probably going to sway us towards the Shrine of Azura. Isn't that right, Berlina? Because uh, apparently the Shrine was... Where's the college? Excuse me, I'm lost here. This blizzard isn't helping matters. Uh, watch out for wolves. Pull back, please, Berlina. I don't want any silly escapades. I've seen enough action for one day, I tell you that. Are we on the path? Yeah, here we go. Lovely. Who are those two? So yeah, the, the, the Shrine of Azura was apparently built by some uh, refugees from Morrowind, some some uh, Dark Elves. And I believe Azura is uh, one of the gods that they worship, so I think, I think Brelina will definitely have some interest in taking a nosy poke up to that shrine. The time is 11.57. 
which means we don't really have time for a full-blown feast this evening. I was actually seriously hoping that Brina would actually cook up some of that clam chowder that was mentioned last time we left off as part of the uh, expanded recipe book that we are now going to uh, sample various delights cooked up by Brulina using some of the Skyrim ingredients clam chowder uh, just to name but one and these have all seemed to have grown back <coughs> since I first picked them Mushroom soup, leek and potato soup, all these sorts of things. Baked potatoes with grated Ida Blue. Mmm, tasty. But they'll have to wait. Hello, guard. Honeyed words? What do you mean, honeyed words? I'm trying to insult me, I'm. That's nothing of the sort. Belina, no time to chat with the nice guard. It's midnight. <laughs> I'm quite tired here. She stood there for a. Uh, she actually, she's probably defending me. He insulted me, and she was probably standing up for my honour, giving him her a piece of her mind, saying, "You better watch your tone around Elwyn, Mister. Otherwise, you'll find yourself on the wrong end of a fireball." Why bless you for sticking up for me, Brina? So kind. Yes, it's rather blizzardy this evening, so we cannot see the delightful uh, northern lights. We cannot stop to admire the view because it's a little bit... Well, it's more than a little bit, it's uh, rather parky this evening, rather nippy. Blustery, and uh, we need to get back inside. <laughs> it's been a long day. All starting off with a, uh, a dragon attack and ending up with... Uh, uh, fighting for our life in a cave full of foam. I wonder if they've got new guards yet. <laughs> the last lot seemed to... well, they, they bit the dust actually. At the hands of uh, a dragon, which is extremely unfortunate and they're probably not going to be moved for some time. I wonder if I should actually just move their bodies out of the road. It's not really uh, a great place for them to be, is it? It's, uh, oops a daisy. Maybe just move them off the beaten track a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. I did... Uh, I'd be surprised if anybody ever cleans up their bodies, you know, gives them a proper burial, for instance. I mean, who, the Jarl of this place, Jarl Korir, is he called? I can't remember, I think that was his name. The Jarl of Winterhold. Elwyn wasn't really paying attention because the Jarl was rather uh, bad-mouthing mages, so I don't think Elwyn really wanted to spend any time longer than necessary in his, uh, in his abode. But hopefully uh, these guards will be given a proper burial at some time in the near future. And we should get some replacements. The poor village of Winterhold cannot do without its, without its security. God forbid people will be taking Burner's oddments left, right and centre. Oh, while I'm here, actually, M Mirabel. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, stop your whining, Mirabel. I'm here to see if uh, there are some spells I want to purchase, but I need to find the relevant page. But I can't purchase anything because it's too late. It is too late for her to open a little shop of spells. Oh to me, so we'll press on. <laughs> what a waste of a minute and a half there. Oh, I see the cleaners haven't removed this dragon yet. Well, might as well take that and sell it at the store tomorrow. Oh, 
Oh, there's Thalma chaps here. We don't like him. Red Berlina, thank you for your assistance. Is it true? One of the Sigics was here in the college? Uh. All right. What is it? You might as well take a take a take a seat. Toft is sleeping in the room. There you go. Okay, got it. Put your feet up, relax, peruse what happened today because it was rather stressful for us both. I agree. Anything else? No. Oh, she doesn't want to sit down. Bless her. She's probably too too agitated. All right. Let me see. Uh, my my wardrobe of uh, things to sell. It's now going to include Dwarven Arrows. Uh, yep, a Dwarven Bow. This is going to be... Hopefully, I want to see if we can de disenchant this. Elven Daggers, Falma Arrows, Falma Bow, and a Steel Sword. Apparel-wise, we have Falma Helmet. Gold Emerald Ring. No, we're going to put that in here. That is one for the enchantment books. Something to enchant for Elwyn's, uh, Elwyn's Emporium when it comes to fruition eventually. Right, potions. Any potions that we don't need? Plentiful stamina. Ah, oh, poisons. A couple of poisons there. And some more poisons. Okay. Ingredients. Books. We'll get to books in a minute. Keys and miscellaneous things. Cowrus chitin. Chitin, sorry. Some dragon bones, dragon scales. All to sell. Flawless garnet. Yeah, garnets. No use to us. Hawker tusks. Moonstone ore. Six rubies. Snow fox pelt. And some wolf pelts. That's a lot of stuff to sell, isn't it? Yes. Right, so that'll keep us busy for a while. And last time I noticed that we actually uh, stuffed our ingredients in the wrong barrel. All of these. This is the potion barrel. <laughs> So we'll take all of these out. These are all potions, you see. Salt pile times four. Slaughterfish egg, small antlers, troll fat, vampire dust, and two lots of wheat. And we'll put them into there instead, because this is the ingredient barrel. 27 cowrus eggs, falmer ears, giant's toe, hagraven feathers are required for the staff quest. There we go. So we are now unburdened, which is nice. And that's my food. This is my food barrel. So, it's 2 a.m. Time for Betty Buys. Good night, Brilina. <laughs>